So it seems as though Destiny 3 is already getting leaked and this is kind of taking me back because I made a video when Destiny 2 was about to come out or it, it hadn't been really officially kind of announced or revealed yet um, and there was a bunch of leaks going on there was leaked uh, kind of concept art and whatnot uh, and I made a whole video on that. And what was funny about that said video is it got a lot of hate because there was a lot of people that were commenting telling me, oh, this has already been de you know, debunked and, and, and it's, you know, uh, you know, confirmed to be just uh, uh, rumors and, and, and it's not actually true and this and that. Um, and the funny thing is, if you actually go back to that video, and I'll link it down in the description below if you guys want to go back to it. Uh, if you go back to that video. Uh, everything ended up being true. It was like all the subclasses and stuff for Destiny 2 and whatnot, which was just kind of funny because, again, that video got so much hate uh, because people were, were saying like, oh, this isn't true. These are just fake. You're reporting on fake screenshots, yada, yada. So listen, man, you just never know, okay? I always say take rumors with a grain of salt, take leaks with, leaks with a grain of salt, um, but you never know uh, at, at the end of, the, uh, of all of, you know, what... Uh, you know what ends up actually transpiring and taking place now with this one i think this one holds some weight because some of it has to do with things that we've actually seen um and get revealed recently for the final shape but it has nothing to do with the final shape it has everything to do with destiny 3 but it also has ties to the final shape as well i know this sounds confusing just please do bear with me uh there's uh, you know there's again there's some random uh, uh comments made on reddit basically is where this is coming from and uh you know again is it is it is it true i don't know but there's some weight to it and i'll explain why i think there's some weight to it by the way if you enjoy this one be sure to leave a like really helps the channel if you don't like it, let me know why so I can improve the content in the future and if you think this whole thing is just you know uh, bogus and you want to dislike this video like you know a bunch of people did back in the day with that D2 video hey how about it it's up to you guys um, all right, so let's jump into this. First things first, I'll throw the first part of the uh, of the leak up on screen. There's multiple different parts we got to kind of work through. So um, this person actually posted this a month ago, uh, asking if anyone here knows if Prism has been leaked yet, uh, saying since there has been no answer yet, I guess I'll leak it. I have no idea who this person is. Uh, again, it's just a bunch of random numbers, but basically saying that Bungie's working on a system called Prism, and, and again, I know you, you're probably wondering, oh, Prismatic, right? They just, they just revealed that. Bear with me. Um, that's going to allow players to mix and match abilities from different subclasses, right? So we're kind of getting that with what we've seen in the final shape. And this is kind of where I'm saying there's a tie between the final shape and Destiny 3. And you'll see why. Now, uh, this is one of the things that have been worked on during the delay. Imagine throwing a lightning grenade while on solar or, you know, uh, proccing devour and, and rampaging, rampaging with Stormcaller. And then they go on to say, Destiny 3 is, or was, I don't know, uh, they say, in development under codename Payback, which we're, gonna, which we're gonna talk a little bit more about that codename in a second. One of the biggest changes for Destiny 3 is, or was, they said, again, I don't know, um, for classes to no longer exist and allow any character to spec into any ability, since lore-wise, there's no reason why you couldn't. Uh, Hunters explicitly learned Blink from Warlocks, for example, and Blink is not tied to a single element, hence the logic there. End quote. So that's the first quote. Um, and one, again, there's there's a couple other things, a couple couple other couple other posts and and, and quotes that we're going to talk about. But really quick, let's um, kind of dissect this because you you might be saying, okay, yeah, but you know, again, prismatic was something that was revealed for the final shape. Yes, you're right. But what is prismatic doing? Uh, Prismatic is creating uh, that sort of, again, what was in the first half of this comment, which by the way, the first half of this comment, you know, was right. And this was a month ago. So you see right there, there's some weight uh, to this. They, they also spoke about um, uh, being able to uh, edit your your uh, excuse me character customization, and again that was just spoken about during the final shapes gameplay reveal. So um, that's another element that uh, that was spoken about prior to being revealed that adds credibility to this user. Um, now, in terms of like, okay, well, you know, is maybe this is, has nothing to do with Destiny Three. It's just you know, obviously it was something we're getting in the final shape. Well, not quite because in the final shape, the prismatic uh, kind of class. And, and, and all that stuff that they talked about where it's not really exactly what they're describing with destiny 3 is right it's not that no classes exist it's that they're kind of meshing the ability 
uh, to kind of merge subclasses within a class, right? So like hunters can merge their different subclasses and, and warlocks and, and titans. So it's kind of seeming like a stepping stone, right? And what some other people noted online uh, with, you know, what was revealed in the final shape is where do you go from here anyways? I mean, this is pretty much peak, right? You're, you're climaxing um, to, to, to the very top of what you can, I mean, I guess, you know, developers' imaginations can run wild, but many people cannot really, you know, understand or think what, where do you go from here? So it would make sense that, you know, if there's a Destiny 3 that, you know, they, they give a whole reboot um, and, uh, you know, we kind of have more of, more or less what's described here where, you know, there's no classes anymore. You, you can, you know, be whatever you want. Maybe there's certain abilities that are still tied to certain classes, obviously. Um, but, but beyond that, you know, um, it's a little bit more open-ended. Now we've got another, uh, a couple other uh, quotes. So I'll throw them up on screen. Uh, this one here says, uh, you know, it's in regards to the name payback, right? And they're saying, don't read too far into the name payback, right? Because some people are, you know, speculating saying, oh, you know, does that mean we lose in the final shape? Is this a leak for the final shape story? And they said, no, it's not. It does not necessarily mean um, that we lose in the final shape or after the three episodes that we're going to be getting throughout the year. Um, though they said to be fair, I know nothing more than any of you about the episodes. Uh, the internal code name for D3 or of D3 is not a reference to any sort of uh, story events. Rather, the code name payback actually <laughs> refers to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. They said, I do not know. Uh, if there are any plans for Destiny 2 items to carry over into Destiny 3, uh, end quote. Uh, but we also have one other further kind of clarification, right? Because is Destiny 3 just kind of an expansion uh, or something? No. So <laughs> I'll throw this one up right now. You guys can see. Destiny 3 is Destiny 3. It's not a big DLC. It's not a revamp of Destiny 2. It's Destiny, Destiny 3, and it says, uh, they say, as far as my most recent info goes, it is a new game in the franchise. I thought that would be obvious. And then there's an edit to say, uh, to answer some comments, I am still in contact with some of my sources, cannot share everything, but here's what I can. Project Payback has been in development at least since Witch Queen, which has been a, a decent amount of time, but heavily in the background, so they have less resources than Destiny 2 or Marathon, they note. Last they heard about it was late summer of last year, uh, when they learned about the change to allow any Guardian to use any ability. So, again, it's been some time since they've heard any kind of, you know, update uh, from said source, but again, it seems these sources seem to, to hold some weight, have some credibility, because again, we have things that were revealed recently, and again, this was leaked from this person you know, like over a month ago. So very interesting to say the very least, because again, Destiny 3 being Destiny 3, I mean, obviously Destiny 2, uh, as far as I'm aware, Bungie didn't even want to really do that. It was kind of Activision kind of pushing that. Um, and now you got to wonder, right? Is Destiny 3 something that Bungie wanted to do either way? Or is this something that Sony's pushing now that, you know, PlayStation has bought uh, Bungie? Um, you would assume maybe, maybe PlayStation is pushing it. But again, was it already something that Bungie was considering? Either way, I know, I mean, Bungie's been wanting to obviously revamp things, you know, as far as I'm aware, uh, kind of, you know, uh, you know, create a, a whole new engine. Um, you know, it's a little bit of a dated engine. As far as I re recall, I believe this is the, the Halo Reach engine, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, which is a pretty old game. Uh, I mean, it's worked. It's, it's a really good game. Uh, or it's really good. It's been a really good engine, but I mean, again, it, it does feel a little bit dated and you know, it'd be nice to have something a little bit kind of refreshed. So, and again, you know, Luke Smith said again in, in the Final Shape uh, gameplay, uh, you know, preview stream, uh, this is, you know, the Final Shape's not the end of Destiny. There's there's much more to come. Um, this is definitely not the end. This is just the end of this saga, this 10-year kind of culmination uh, that we've, you know, had for, for, for the last decade, which, which gets me excited because, I mean, Listen, Destiny's been a little bit bumpy right along the along the way, but at the end of the day, I think whether you you've been consistent with Destiny or not, maybe you've quit Destiny 2 and you went back to De Destiny 1, maybe you've played, you know, you, you kind of your you know, you come back and you leave and you come back and you leave. Maybe, you, you know, it's kind of like a roller coaster. You, you're you're kind of uh, on and off with Destiny 2, if you will. Whoever you are, however you played it, I think most people that have been a fan, either, you know, at, at any point throughout you know, the history of Destiny, 
would you know love to see this franchise flourish because there's so much potential and so i'm excited yeah you know destiny 3 you know you, you'd, you'd hope that you know they would just kind of make a singular game and they would just kind of expand upon that but at the same time you know it, it allows them opportunity to kind of you know refresh the whole thing especially after the end of this saga then kind of hit you know refresh reboot if you will and kind of create this whole brand new engine system world uh universe if you will and I'm just really intrigued, really excited uh, to see where they take this whole world and story and lore and universe and, and whatnot. Because, uh, again, I think there's a lot of potential. Uh, and we've seen just a little bit. We've only really scratched the surface, I think, in the, in the past decade with this. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to cover this. Um, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt whenever we get official news or... More rumors, leaks, whatever, I'll let you guys know here on the channel, so keep it locked. We do variety game content, talk about the games, play the games here on the channel, but one thing's for sure, Destiny is always a core pillar of what we come back to uh, and create content on uh, as part of this channel. So keep it locked, and I'll see you guys soon in another one. Tell them friends, game on. Thanks for watching. Hey you, what are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is gonna fade, that's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kinda like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.